Hello guys and welcome to my latest tutorial. In this time around I'm gonna teach you how to make a dedicated server for Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Latest version in this case is gonna be 1.35.30 and let's start. Um, essentially what you wanna go and download uh, here in the description you will find the links. Uh, if you don't wanna check the description just pause the video and copy this. First you want to download the Steam CMD, you just hit enter, then you want to download this uh, Viriaic uh, crack. Uh, you always going to have to find the latest version, so make sure to find the latest version that is available and download the, the crack for the server and the game. Also you have to, to download the latest version of source mode and the latest version of metamod. Uh, so you just download all those four things. You should have something like this. Uh, now we're going to create a new folder. Uh, we're going to name it Steam CMD. Um, so now we just uh, extract this uh, executable inside a folder and we're going to have that the steam cmd with the steam cmd executable inside so now we're just gonna open a common prompt uh, with administrator rights and we're gonna navigate to that if you don't feel like it just type cd and space and just drag the folder itself okay doesn't work like that so we're gonna just open this crap we're gonna copy all the direction copy and we're just gonna pass it and we are here so now we're gonna we're gonna execute it steam cmd and then just hit enter and the application itself is gonna start updating just uh, be patient it's gonna be a quick update so don't worry about that so uh, yeah just update this once you updated uh, the steam cmd you're gonna have to um, to log in as anonymous so we just type and you will be um, uh, registered as an anonymous login so we just have to wait Okay, so now that we are with the Steam prompt, we uh, we wanna um, type force install dir. Then you just wanna create a, a folder here in the unit C, name server. As you can see, it's completely empty, and we just type force install dir and the direction of that of that folder as it go. So now we're going to type app update 740 validate. Now the server itself is going to start downloading, so expect to wait like a couple of hours, maybe one hour or maybe two, depends of the of your internet connection. And when you're done downloading that, we're going to just cancel it because I've already done it. Okay, once you have downloaded the server, you will have something like this. This is the server that I got, similar to this. So uh, once you have downloaded the server, you'll find something like this. Now we're gonna crack the server. So just forget about the Steam CMD. We're gonna go to the latest uh, Virac that you just downloaded. We're gonna go to the server folder here, and we're gonna extract all these files inside the server folder. You're just gonna override that, and we're gonna configure the server now. We open the server folder, we're gonna go to the Revini. We just gotta open it. You wanna scroll down. We're gonna scroll down until it says game server NSNet. We're gonna, um, you're gonna delete this, this symbol, it's gonna be right, in, be right before enable this uh, NSNet SBC UDP. So you wanna just delete the symbol so it gets enabled. Because this symbol is gonna disable the things, so you, you only have to delete that. And also you wanna um, unlock or, de or, or enable unlock items, so just 
uh, copy all this crap as it is just uh, this is gonna also have the symbol before it and also type false so all the items are gonna be unlocked in your server then save and close so now the server itself is gonna be um, functional next thing ne next thing that you wanna need to do is go to your source mode and metamod you're gonna extract these two in the same in the same location you want you will end up getting this we just cut these two folders and pass it inside the server folder inside the counter strike go folder here you just want to pass those two folders and you're going to have some add-ons and config folders created so now we're going to go to config here inside the config folder you want to create a server a, a config a file named server so as you can see i already done it here you can see the you can create it easily in notepad uh, you open the server and you want to type sv underscore lan space zero. You're going to save it and here you're going to have this file. And now inside the config folder as well, we're going to go to source mode folder and we're going to go open the source mode config. And here on top of the file, we're going to type sv underscore lan space one. You want to save it and close it and we are almost done now. I'm gonna leave you guys in the description the different codes that you wanna have to create these uh, shortcuts to start the server more more uh, efficient efficiently and more uh, and faster. You can see all these game modes um, just by a, a click. You will be able to execute the server with just a, a single click. You can see here um, you can create these bat files. Uh, they're gonna be in the descriptions. You just open notepad you just pass this code and just save it as a bad file so these folds these files should be inside the root folder of the server as you can see so now the server is gonna be up and running and it's gonna be enabled so now source mode and meta mode can be deleted um, and then obviously you will have to have the the same version of the game not only the server but also the game itself obviously here's the game you will if you don't have it cracked yet you just open it once again the release instead of going to the server folder we're going to go to the counter strike go folder and you just want to copy all these files inside your root game folder this time inside the game folder you will have a lot of things you will we also have to open the revini here in this case um you i highly suggest you to add no vid so um the game it's gonna start with uh, skipping the, the that annoying uh, mini intro video so you, you just can skip that then we're gonna go here and, and change the russian to english and then we're gonna go um, in here you can in the player name you can change your your nickname and that's pretty much it you just save it and close it if you want to if, if you want to change your your avatar just go to platform folder and change the avatar that you can change it over with PNG just change the extension of the file with PNG you will be able to modify it as you can see this is my actual uh, avatar once you change it with Photoshop or paint just um, change it back to that and then you just override the old avatars and you'll your avatar will be changed next let um, another thing if you want to customize your background music just go to the game folder counter strike go folder you're gonna go to um you're gonna go to sound you're gonna go to music and once you are here you're gonna go to val counter strike go one main menu as you can see i made a backup this is the original and this is the one i changed you have to do the same for two these two folders counter strike zero one counter strike zero two just pass the same music inside both folders and we're good to go so next as you can see in my counter strike go folder i don't have any vpk files the vpk files are some files that you can open with this program that i'm going to show you right now uh it's very simple um you're going to download this this program ccf scape which is a program able enable you to open the vpk files you can just download this program in this web page just install it and once the program is installed you're gonna find a, a file that's named underscore dear dot vpk 
inside your, your Counter-Strike folder. So once you, you find inside your game, inside your Counter-Strike Go folder, the VPK name underscore dear, you just want to open it and extract all the folders. You only have the material folder, model folders, particle folders, script folders, sound folders. You want to extract all those and pass them inside the Counter-Strike Go folder. And then you will be enabled to delete the uh, the VPKs. Why doing this? Well, because if you do, if you just extract the VPKs and delete the VPKs afterwards, you will be able to save a lot of space. Maybe one one gigabyte you will be able to to save. So that's a very big deal. So once you, we've done that, we are pretty much set to go. We can always go to the server folder we're going to go to Counter Strike Go add-ons we're in a source mode we're going to go to configs and we're going to go to admin simple.ini here you will be able to um, uh, to insert your local IP so you can and make yourself admin so once you put your local IP and all these letters to enable you to to just execute a lot of commands you just want to save it and we're uh, we're ready to go so I'm gonna show you in live how this server works and it's uh, and hope you enjoy we're gonna execute the casual first time you open it you will have to open the, the f fast forward your your firewall so now we are done um, once you change your admins, uh, uh, as I told you before, you're going to type sm underscore reload admins. There you'll see admin cache has been refreshed. So now we're going to open the game itself with the f game folder. And I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how it works. We're gonna type connect and the IP of the server. The external or the internal IP is gonna work either way. As you can see, I'm uh, we are joining the server. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you now the version of the game and how, the, how to execute admin commands. So now we are in-game, you can see. Let's go. You can see the actual version that we are using and to execute admin commands, you just open the chat window and just type slash admin. Sniper. And as you can see, we have all the admin commands at our disposal. Well, I hope you like this video. Uh, enjoy and see you next time.